Welcome friends. In today's tutorial, we are going to make a multiplicity portrait, also known as a clone selfie. What is it? It is where you take multiple images and you layer them together to make multiple versions of the subject. In this case, hey look, it's me. The key is move the subject, have them move around in the image between shots. Don't move the camera. If you have access to a tripod with a phone mount, if that's what you need, that's great. But friends, you can also just lean your phone up against something that won't move, like a building, or a stack of books, or a heavy object, and then use the self timer on your phone to give you time to move from one place to the next. Once you have your shots done, we are going to use the free Photoshop Mix app to put them all together. So at this point, you've taken your pictures, they're on your phone. We're gonna tap the plus button in the top right corner, go to image and grab our first picture. Looking on the right side, there's a plus button in a circle. We'll tap that, go add our second image as a fresh brand new layer. Here we go again, plus button on the right side, image, grab your next picture, plus button again, image, grab your next picture. You can layer as many as you want. I'm gonna stick with four. Okay, helpful tip. If you want to pinch zoom to see, to zoom in on the picture, make sure that none of the layers are selected and then you can pinch zoom and pan around and do whatever you want. If you have a layer selected, what's going to happen is that when you pinch zoom, you're actually enlarging that layer only. And you don't want to do that because we want to keep these nicely aligned. I'm going to tap the undo button in the top center, that arrow to bring us back to life. Okay, so remember, if you want to zoom, totally cool, but make sure you don't have a layer selected. All right, here we go, friends. What I want to do first is actually to hide some of the layers. So I'm going to double tap on the top layer and you'll know it's hidden when there is an eyeball with a slash through it. I'm going to double tap the third from the bottom. It's hidden. And for just a second, I'm going to double tap the second from the bottom. <clears throat> because what I want to see is where's the other me. So the other me is on the, is on the left side. Double tap again to reveal now the second from the bottom. And I'm going to select it with a single tap. And look at the bottom menu choose cut out and then tap the button that says smart. Okay. Now I'm going to tap the subtract button and start brushing roughly where I am. It doesn't have to be perfect and you'll see why. Tap the check mark and look, there's another version of me. Yay. Okay. We're going to repeat this process. Double tap the layer that's third from the bottom to reveal it. And then I'm going to go to cut out, make sure I'm on smart, tap on subtract, and I'm going to brush again to reveal more. Tap the checkbox, go to the next layer up, go to cut out, smart button is selected, switch to subtract, brush, brush, brush. To reveal that and there's two more of me awesome we're going to go to the top layer double tap on that tap once to select it grab the cutout tool again stay on smart but switch to subtract and brush around now the reason i've had you use the smart feature is that it's going to do a really good job at selecting a close in to objects and let's see how well it did. I'll tap the check mark and there's our finished image. I'm going to tap into the black space so no layers are selected and then I'm going to zoom in and just take a look and it did a really good job. The only place where I see a little funkiness is right around my leg. 
So what I'm gonna do is figure out which layer that's on just by hiding other layers. So double tap and it's the top layer. That was easy. So now I'm gonna tap on the top layer, go to cut out, go to add, make sure I'm on smart, and I'll bring back a bit of my leg there. Checkbox again, leg is good. For final steps, if I want to, what I can do is go up to the crop tool in the top left. I'll rotate this a little bit, crop it in like so. You don't have to do this, but it's there if you need it. Check mark in the lower right. Last step is to turn this in. I'm going to tap on the arrow coming out of the box in the top right hand corner, the share arrow. You know it. Choose camera roll, let it save. Turn it in if it's for assignment. Put it on social media if that brings you joy, or just stare at it and savor your work. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Have a great day.